guys hope you're doing great our today's question is best time to buy and sell stock this is a very very common question with interviews because it's a question which is quite complex to think about and listen to but has a relatively easier solution so let's get started say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on day i if you were only permitted to complete at most one transaction that is buy one and sell one share of the stock design an algorithm to find the maximum profit you cannot sell a stock before you buy one right so for example given this so this is the price of the stock on the ith day and we can we need to find the maximum profit that we can make so uh, which would be 5 because we can buy on day 2 when price is 1 and then sell on day 5 when the price is 6. So the profit is 6 minus 1, 5. And this is not 7 minus 1 because selling price needs to be larger than the buying price. So because at 7 you can purchase but you cannot sell, right? Because that's the day 1. So that is not possible, right? Similarly, this so you can see that this is a constantly decreasing uh, stock price right and that is why in this case there is no such point where you can buy and then sell it at a higher price at any point in time right on any day so that is why the maximum profit is zero right so this is an unsorted array and let's have a look at the various approaches that we can take for an unsorted array so please pause the video, think for a moment, have a look, come back. All right, so this um, is relatively very um, easy because we don't really need an approach for this. It's just a simple traversal problem, right? However, we do need to think about what is the approach that we need to apply, right? So. In, in such cases, it's definitely helpful if you have seen the question before or if, you, if you've solved the question before to be able to get to the right approach in the interview. So don't be panicked about how, uh, there must be a, a thousand other questions like these whom approaches I would not be able to think about in the interview. So it's not like that. The more you practice, the better you get. Um, the more you practice, uh, if you see such questions, you have... Um, a lot of processes, a lot of approaches in the back of your mind, which click at the time when you need them. So no need to worry about. So let's uh, talk about what we can do here. Okay. <clears throat> so clearly what we have to do here is we have to maintain, you know, um, a profit value right which we want to increment and we want to also maintain a value that stores the minimum price that we have seen till now right so because whatever is the minimum value that we have seen till now we will subtract that from the current price that we are at and identify that whatever profit I have been able to make till now is this profit greater than the profit I have made. So it's basically similar to um, finding out max a max value in an array, but with some conditions. So once we get started with writing the code, it will get better. Okay. So first of all, um, as I said, we need a min, right? Let's just uh, okay. Let's just initialize it with a max value because we want it to be updated the first time we get another value. And the other one be profit. Okay. So profit is let's say zero right now. Okay. Now let's start traversing through the prices array. Right. Okay. All right. So what we have to check, first of all, we need to update min. Right, so we'll check that if min is more than prices of i, it means that there is a, another value which we have seen which is lesser than the min we were thinking is the minimum, right? So we want to update that. So we say that okay, then min equals to prices of i, 
and that's it so we are done for this price of i that we have updated min with this so we cannot do anything else because basically we have kind of bought this stock on this day because we found that this price is lesser than its price on other days right so we would prefer buying it on a day when its price is the lowest right so this is done if not okay so if it is not less than the minimum price that we have seen that we then we need to check for profit right so that is similar to max value as we calculate for an array that so we'll check that else if the profit that i have been making till now is that less than okay prices of i that is the current element because we know that it's not less than min so whatever profit i can make from this value minus min is that profit more than profit which i have recorded till now if yes then profit equals to this value prices of i minus min so okay then this is my maximum profit till now right so um we just update it like that we have an extra okay fine and then we just have to return the profit okay and we could add a base case that if prices dot length equals equals zero then we can just return zero because there's no way we can make any profit right okay let's see if that works sorry int yeah okay the time complexity for this is o of n because we're just traversing the array once right the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra element apart from min and profit that's a constant right So I hope you guys find this helpful and learn this simple array traversal technique as well which does not involve any other approach apart from just using some logic and deriving the answer. So if you like this video please like share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.